Hey everyone, welcome to today's tutorial where we're diving into Microsoft's groundbreaking 5.4 multimodal instruct model. Quick note before we begin, I'm actually not narrating this video myself as I've lost my voice and I'm not feeling well, so I'm using AI to voice this tutorial. But don't worry, all the content is still created by me. Now, if you're looking to work with a powerful AI that can process text, images, and audio all at once, you're in the right place. This lightweight open multimodal foundation model is a game changer. It comes with a massive 128K token context length and can handle everything from visual math reasoning to speech recognition and translation across multiple languages. The best part? It's designed to work efficiently in memory constrained environments and latency bound scenarios. In today's tutorial, I'll walk you through setting up this model, show you the different input formats for text, vision, and speech processing, and demonstrate some practical applications that highlight its impressive capabilities. Whether you're a developer, looking to build the next generation of AI applications or just curious about what this technology can do, this video has you covered. There are two models, 5.4 Multimodal Instruct with 5.6 billion parameters, and for more resource-constrained environments, 5.4 Mini with just 3.8 billion parameters. While this version focuses solely on text and language understanding, it delivers remarkable performance, despite its smaller size. Microsoft has also released the ONNX file version so they can be integrated purely via C Sharp. As of editing of this video, 5.4 Mini is also uploaded to Alama but not for LM Studio. For this tutorial, we will use the Tensor files. Now let's dive into setting up the multimodal version. This installation is very similar to our previous video. We'll be using the same Anaconda environment, so make sure you have Python 3.11 installed. First, head over to the NVIDIA developer site and install both CUDA and CUDNN drivers. Next, go to pytorch.org and install PyTorch based on the CUDA driver you've installed. If you don't see your exact driver version listed, use the latest one. It should be compatible. This process might take some time as it may compile the libraries for your system, so please be patient. Our installation took over 30 minutes, which is why we're reusing the same environment from our previous video tutorial. Once you have the base environment set up, head over to Hugging Face and download the 5.4 model. Okay, now that you have set up your environment and ready, let's take a look at what 5.4 multimodal can do. Here I have set up a service that will load the model and some endpoints to showcase its features. Let's start with a simple chat. We'll ask the model what it can do. Since we are not streaming, this may look like it's taking a long time and I will speed up the video. Next, let's ask a more complex question and have Phi do some reasoning and math. This will demonstrate how the model handles analytical tasks despite its relatively small size compared to larger language models. Now let's load this into ChatGPT to see the math formatting. Next, the model supports native function calling. Let's try it out. This is the same example we've been using for testing our other models with the OpenAI standard API. We have two functions here. The first will automatically get our current location since we didn't specify it, then we call the second function and get the weather. This demonstrates how FIFO can seamlessly integrate with external tools and APIs to provide more dynamic and useful responses. As you can see, the model is able to understand when to call functions based on the context of the conversation, making it extremely useful for building interactive applications that connect to external services. Now we are going to try sending an audio file and have it transcribed. The audio file is in WAV format and contains the introduction from one of our video tutorials. This demonstrates one of the key multimodal features that sets 5.4 multimodal apart from text-only models. The model can process audio input directly without needing a separate transcription service first. Let's see how accurately it can transcribe the speech and capture the nuances of the content. This capability is particularly useful for applications like meeting transcription, voice notes processing, or creating accessible content. Okay, now let's take the same audio, but now let's translate it on the fly without having to convert it to text. This is where 5.4 Multimodal really shines. It can directly process the audio and translate the content into another language in a single step. There's no need for a separate transcription step fo followed by translation, which traditionally would require multiple models or services. This streamlined approach means faster processing and fewer potential errors, since we're not passing information between multiple systems. It's particularly valuable 
for applications like real-time translation services, international content creation, or processing multilingual audio data. Now we will try extracting data from an image. The source image is a receipt, and we will send this to our chat completion endpoint. Our chat endpoint can handle chatting, function calling, and image processing. This demonstrates how FIFOR Multimodal can analyze visual information and extract structured data from documents. The model can recognize text within images, understand the context and layout of the receipt, and identify key information like items purchased, prices, and totals. This capability is incredibly useful for automating data entry, expense tracking, or building systems that can process and understand document images without requiring separate OCR tools. Now we are going to try a different image of a scene and ask FI4 to describe it for us. This showcases the model's visual understanding capabilities beyond just text extraction. FI4 can analyze the content of photos, recognize objects, understand spatial relationships, and generate natural language descriptions of what it sees. This feature is useful for accessibility applications, content tagging, or any scenario where you need to convert visual information into descriptive text automatically. Here I've tested the video portion of the code and testing the use case via Swagger Docs. We are uploading a video file and asking for a summary. We are also setting a maximum number of frames to be extracted from the video. This is an intensive process and my GPU may not handle all the frames. Now FI4 can't handle video directly, so what we're doing is extracting frames from the video, then batching them to the model. This code was also used as an example for the FI3 vision model. This approach demonstrates how we can extend the model's capabilities beyond its native features by using smart pre-processing. By extracting keyframes and feeding them as a sequence of images, we can effectively give FI4 the ability to understand video content. The processing is resource intensive since we're handling multiple images, so you'll need to consider your hardware limitations when implementing similar solutions. That's all for this video tutorial. I will share the service code for you to play around with in the description below. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this content, please like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. In this tutorial, we've covered how to set up Microsoft's FI4 Multimodal Instruct model and explored its impressive capabilities across text, image, and audio processing. We've seen how it can handle everything from simple chat and function calling to complex tasks like audio translation and image analysis, all with a relatively compact 5.6 billion parameter model. Stay tuned for more videos exploring cutting edge AI models and their practical applications.